Like an old concoction getting new life in Wilmington. It's called absent, a drink that was outlawed in the U.S. back in 1912. But it's legal again after an eight-month-long struggle with the local Alcohol and Beverage Commission Board. A bar owner has brought it to his establishment. WSB's Tim Gebby is joining us now with the story of its history and its reception here in Wilmington. Kim? Well, Frank, historically, absinthe is known as the green fairy. Green for its color and fairy for its powers to make people hallucinate. In fact, it was outlawed because it was believed to have driven people mad. And the bar owner behind its local comeback does say his customers are going crazy for it. I'm probably letting the cat out of the bag. <laughs> for Wilmington bar owner Marcus Womer, that cat has green eyes, 124 proof alcohol, and a hallucinogenic compound. The cat is absent, and Womer says his place, Wormwoods on Walnut Street, is the only bar from here to New Jersey that's stocking the controversial liquor. The first legalized absence uh, ever to hit the shores of the U.S. since 1912. Melting a sugar cube into lucid absence is the old-fashioned trick and brings to mind disturbing stories about the history of this infamous concoction. Vincent Van Gogh apparently uh, chopped his ear off and sent it to his girlfriend in the mail, uh, and he was on an absinthe binge. Lucid absinthe is the strongest you'll find legally in the U.S. Wilmer even had to put a two-shot maximum for bargoers. The difference is in how it's distilled. The wormwood creates Dugan, a hallucinogenic compound. Customer T.C. Scarborough says a shot of this milky liquor is like nothing else. It's a different buzz. It really is. And the price is like nothing else in Wilmington. At $11 a pop, some say the reality of the hallucination will hit your wallet in the morning. I'm not too sure if it's worth it. I'm not sure if the benefits outweigh the cost. Though. But sales are good. Three of the six specially ordered bottles last week are gone. And dozens of drinkers are likely left with foggy memories of fire, sugar, and visions of a black cat. Well, Lucid is currently sold in just a handful of states, including New York, New Jersey, Florida, and, of course, here in North Carolina now. Fran, back to you.